Statistical bias control um, is an approach to understanding variation over time in data. Uh, and it was developed in the 1920s by Walter Schuhart, and he developed a whole statistical theory that underpins this. Um, so when you see a chart with some dots and lines on it, that behind that is actually a whole um, statistical theory that makes it work. Um, and this statistical theory is kind of different from some of the other types of statistical theories out there. So you might have heard of um, hypothesis testing and p-values. Um, and this um, approach that we use in statistical process control is different from that. Um, now, both approaches are valid, and they both tackle different types of problem. So it's like if, you're, um, if you've got a toolkit in front of you and you're trying to do a, a piece of DIY at home, you, you use a hammer for certain jobs, but you use a screwdriver for other jobs. And it's exactly the same as statistics. We use certain tools to answer one kind of question and other tools to answer another kind of question. And so when we're looking at data over time uh, in healthcare, statistical process control is the right statistical tool for that job. Um, when we're looking at trying to prove some kind of generalized um, knowledge, then we might reach for other statistical tools which are more traditional. So whilst the origins of this methodology, statistical process control, lie in manufacturing, Schuhart and later Deming um, used it to great effect in industry. Um, it is absolutely valid for um, monitoring and improving healthcare. So the underlying principles of common and special cause variation hold in exactly the same way um, in healthcare as they do in manufacturing. It's just a different context. Um, so we can use the method. Of course, how we interpret the results of that and how we act on it may be different from how that was enacted in manufacturing, but the statistics and the underlying principles remain exactly the same. And there's great benefit to be had in applying those methods in healthcare. So we can avoid waste by not reacting to variation which is um, typical, common, and going to happen anyway. Uh, and we can focus our attention on variation which is likely to be due to something real in the system. And that is essentially the essence and the great strength of statistical process control as an approach. Like any um, statistical tool, or in fact any uh, method that we use in research or in healthcare, in management, in, uh, even in um, the day-to-day -day care of patients, there are some principles we should stick to to make sure that we're doing it well and getting the results that we expect. Um, and so it's not just okay for um, to do these um, statistical process control charts any old way. There are certain rules and certain um, ways of doing them which, which make them valid, make them work. Um, that doesn't mean it needs to be scary. In fact, statistical process control is one of the most straightforward um, types of statistics to use. Um, and in fact, that was one of the um, reasons why it worked in the original case in manufacturing in the 1920s, because people on the factory floors were actually able to do it themselves, rather than needing external experts to come and do the analysis for them, as to the transparency. Um, so there are some simple rules of how to do it well, and there's lots of resources out there to help you do that, and you can find those in this guide. Um, and so I really recommend that you go and do that. Have a little look at some of the, the books um, and some of the videos and some of the papers that are out there that tell you how to do this stuff well, and let's together try to make um, statistical process control um, a helpful tool for healthcare. I pledge to help other people get the most out of statistical process control um, and to use it to improve healthcare.